ready? Three, two, one. We're live! We're back again. Here's TTD. Guys, what's been happening? Nothing much, mate. How uh, you going? Guys, um, how about nothing. you, Dance? No, nothing. Just guys, same, same. Same, uh, same. Yeah, same, same. The Actually, only highlight for me is the vaccine. The yeah. vaccine. Oh, here we go. Did Before, you get your vaccine? Yeah, yesterday. Oh, Before we... Why did, you, why did you do that? I don't know. I want to travel. They said if you don't get it, you yeah, cannot travel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll only take it for that reason as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guys, I'm dying here. Man. You know why, guys? There's an extra voice in here. It's not another T to D's <laughs> or T to D's. We have a special guest, guys. Uh, her name is An Angel. Angel Ka. No, Angelica. <laughs> I just got Angelica <laughs> means. Uh, Mom Silovich. Okay, I'm not going to say it again. Come on, you did it um, before. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Mom Silovich. Uh, there we go. Mom Silovich. Mom Silovich. <laughs> That's it. Mom Silovich. Mom Silovich. Mom Silovich. Mom Silovich. Beautiful. All right. It, AKA the Angel Warrior. They are. She's one of <laughs> the coaches in UFC Parramatta. Also a prospect of uh, for a Muay Thai striker background. Is that correct? Yes, but I my actual dream is mma so there you go i want to go to the ufc it's been my goal since day one why not you're young yeah you're young i've used like my muay thai was really the base like my favorite martial art out of all the martial arts yeah. but my dream is to go so to how many, before we go to that okay yeah. uh, i just want to congratulate her uh dev yeah <laughs> uh got, she got her blue belt thank you uh, two oh, days nice. ago we nice, nice. um, so my my at mario yukoyama uh, yeah. professor mario yes uh tamper down right yes yeah see yeah. old school they we is that on Parramatta road correct yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's on Parramatta road near like uh near the uh, famous big pizza john's yeah in the corner yeah yeah so yeah congratulations thank you so much um, uh, we need you. to roll we need to roll yeah so yeah you, you just had your recent fight also am i correct uh yes. probably two months ago yeah three three months, three months ago. yeah yes. that was your second mma third third but okay. pro debut oh that was a pro yes Wow. Yeah. wow. I told you we got a pro in now. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow. Uh, I, don't so follow so I don't know. We got you a nerdy down here. <laughs> so All go. Filipinos fight. Yeah. <laughs> 380 fights. Really? No, no, no. With no, his no, ex-missus. No. <laughs> <laughs> With <No>. one loss. <laughs> No. You mean uh, one win? One win, <laughs> one win, <laughs> yes. One win. Uh, okay. Now, moving forward. So, you are, so you fought pro the recent one in yes. Melbourne, right? Yes, correct. So, and how, how'd you go? So, that one did not go yep. the way I envisioned, the way I thought it would. But it hasn't stopped me and it will not. Yeah. See the attitude? Oh, yeah. So oh, straight away. I, 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 see <laughs> the attitude? Because Ernest is one of these uh, positive aura that brings down here. <laughs> yeah. So. Like, if you look at most pro fighters that are up there, the first few fights they've had a loss or something like that, they've come back better than ever. Mm. And, you know, sometimes you need that motivating factor to show you and remind you this is a real game that people are out here to hurt you. This mm. is yeah, dangerous. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. dangerous. Well, I've had, I was undefeated to that point. So really I was sort of getting a bit like, yeah, I'm comfortable. I got this, no problem. But that was dangerous. That mindset was dangerous. And I, I got shown that in that fight. So Very complacent. You, yes. you, you just went there. You know what? I don't need to maybe just stick to my game. Don't mm. worry because I beat this other person. Exactly. And then suddenly a new game for, you know. Exactly. I was just confident in my striking. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to knock her out. And it didn't happen. So I went for the go for the shots and everything and she just pushed me against the cage you know and i was not i was ready for her to do that because i know the girls don't want to strike so i'm like okay she's gonna push me against the cage i'll swing my arms in and get back but she had amazing head pressure and um yeah she just advanced real fast and i was just like "Fuck, this is next this is level. happening too quick for my brain right now next and level next yeah level. exactly so that's what showed me you know so now it's like i'm working all that so when i come back i'll be better than ever no one's going to do that again. No one. It was a yeah, learning I, I like this. I like this. I like this positive right here. See, oh, there's man. ups and downs and you're the kind of person that you're always up there. You know, you're yes. always, no matter what, you, you, you win some, you lose some, but you still keep moving forward. You know what's crazy? After that fight, I trained harder after the fight. Like I was more hungry after. Yeah, it always happens. Mm. The most, to me is, no matter how I step in on the mat or in the ring, it's, I don't have the tenacity. Mm. I do have the uh, 
I wouldn't say the ha- I wouldn't say had the, I had the attitude, but I, it's the tenacity to compete really hard on that ring. Yeah. Because once I got you get pop, mm. it changes. Yes, some people can really move forward. Mm. Some people can b- debacle. Yeah. I'm on a 50-50. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, always yeah. on the fifty. I go, man. What, what, I'm what on the, the buckle. Uh, I said, what the hell am I doing in here? <laughs> you know, you know. There's like, I got a good job anyway. But once you're, the feeling inside, it's different. Mm. Yeah. Once you shut that, uh, shut that ring, or you step in that ring, whatever you've done from the past, it's the atmosphere is different. There's do, all, do you feel that when you enter the ring? You know, I actually it's the nervous. And, supremely confident i don't know what it is i just i get the nerves and then i get excited like i think about how hard i've trained and how excited i am it's like i see my dreams coming true i'm like yes this is the time yeah i sort of bring myself to now like this is it just get all the distractions out of the way put my music on get in my zone once i step in there i'm just like i'm gonna win so you want those moments you want those moments to prove feel that power i want to feel that energy and I just am like, I'm going to get this. I can Yo, feel it. Pumped. I can she's feel running. it. I just get so excited. I love fighting. Um, and you know what? That last fight, sometimes I don't have that energy. Like some Muay Thai fights I've felt flat before going out. I don't know if it's like just the feeling or whatever it is. And I still have come away with the victory. Yeah. The last fight, I, I was weird because like the, the Corona situation and all that, there was a live stream. There yeah. was no crowd. I was late. So I was meant to go on 8.30, then it was 9.30. I was getting peaked, then going back down, then getting peaked, then going back down. I ended up just chilling for a bit, closing my eyes. I'm like, there's always up and down. All your energy is getting a bit yeah. funny. And then I just went a bit like at this place. It wasn't real excitement or nerves. It was you just plateaued. like, yeah, sort of. And I was, still, I was trying to pump myself, yeah. but it just, I don't know. I was just trying to make it happen, but mm. I didn't feel it as much as I would. And I, I, it feels like, funny to say but i don't i feel like that was meant to happen Mm. you know i feel like that's why i wasn't feeling as powerful as i usually do yeah um for me to come back better because my attitude was changing and i needed to come back to the reality yeah you had to come down from from this peak you know what like look at the new game i'm facing right i needed to come back to see like this is the game i'm facing now there is, it's more to it than just striking and a little bit of grappling. Like this is like a whole new ball game of every martial art has to be at its peak. Your strength and conditioning has to be at its peak. See, your cardio, changes, your conditioning. Yeah. yeah, and I was sort of like, I'm just going to get that knockout, focus on my strengths when I'm not focusing on those holes that are there, that I'm thinking they're there, but it's all right. I'll get my way out. But the reality hit that that night, it just was not working. And I feel like because of my attitude towards it, I needed something to show me. At now. least, at least, at least you know now. There's a the hole in your game that you need to fix. That's yeah. the main thing because some people don't agree with that. Mm. Like well, so, because as you said, the attitude. No, I'm better. I, nothing. I lost. I lost the fight. Nah, you know what? Just take it. But for you, you you embrace that. You know I what? analyzed yeah. that shit. I was like, what did I do wrong? Every single thing. Was it footwork? Everything, everything I analyzed, the cage work, everything. Do you watch the video again? Yeah. Yeah. I watched it emotionless to see what went wrong. These guys, yeah. when I saw her the following week, so yeah, we, crazy. We, we're, we're both working. So, and I took her to the side, took her, because I was, she, she, she teaches the Muay Thai class, mm. I teach the boxing class. So after her class, I brought to her my class. Yeah. And saying to my students, I said, guys, here we have a fighter, a real fighter in here who took. Who stepped in the ring to make sure you yeah, know? Yeah, you're awesome. And man, her, you were bruised up, right? Because man, when, when like you get here, she, uh, <laughs> yeah, she was bruised up. It's like mascara everywhere, yeah. right? Yeah, no, so, but she was still coaching. Yeah, yeah, she wow. uh, she yeah. came back. That was on a Friday. She came back. I think you fought on a Saturday. You came back on a Friday night. What did you? Oh, your first class. I had to quarantine for about four days. Yeah, and then I came back that next week. Yeah, oh, the Friday. Imagine that. You quarantine still- for COVID. Yeah, the Melbourne lit oh, up at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I think they wanted us to quarantine for about three days. How long does it take for you to recover if you got injuries? That actually took three weeks. That yeah. one was really like 
muscles like it went through because there's little gloves yeah it's yeah. uh it's uh eight uh, four ounce gloves yeah mm. four ounce mma so. gloves is four ounce yeah. Yeah. when you fought uh muay thai how many ounces your one 12 they're, they're eight eight you went on eight yeah. so, okay is that what well, after the fight a doctor will see you yeah. and 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 say that oh, okay you cannot you know you have to be off for three weeks or I think if it's a severe injury, if you get knocked out, you yep. cannot fight for a certain period. Yep. Yeah, for I didn't get knocked months, out. Yep. Submission, whatever. Sorry, I have to ask because uh, it's good. The, the only fight yeah. thing I watch is fucking Rocky and fucking <laughs> yeah. Creed. You know, it's good. Movies. It's good. It's good that yeah. you ask from uh, an outside perspective yeah. of a fighter I'm or a coach. I'm pretty sure KO is six months. You're mm. out. Yeah. Depending on uh, if you're if you've been hit really hard, mm. so because they have to check if your brain or you, because sometimes when you start yeah, vomiting, it, it shakes around. Yeah, it shakes. Yeah. So remember your brain. What is you've got to do every I think six months with the combat sports is actually get a fitness test That's and correct. the doctor tests your reflection, uh, your reactions, your eyes, your ears, yeah, yeah. all that. So you do get tested up and up and coming to your matches. Yeah. yeah, you get your booklet, your combat booklet, guys. So when when you fight in the ring or are you average, serious? There's yeah, a combat we, booklet. Yeah, we have a combat booklet. <laughs> Yeah, it's a yeah. medical book, so yeah. you just gotta get tested that you're all clear to go. Because remember, yeah. you also in respect to the other fighter, just in case if you have hepatitis or anything mm. from they the blood. Know. Yeah, they know. All right, oh, so right. that's the clearance. So you get that booklet. So that's for life. Can I? I've got I got uh, some quick fire like uh, questions here, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to know. Um, I just want to ask, how did you come up with the Angel Warrior nickname? Okay, so um, Angelica. I wanted something. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, Angelica. Yep. Um. With no I, guys, and no Y. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I feel like fighting's deeper yep. to me than just bashing people and getting glory for that. Um, I want to inspire people and I want to share my faith to people. Mm. And I feel like my life and my journey has made me a warrior. Okay. So, angel, warrior, oh, and nice. I, I stand for like, who I am. Yeah. You know? I fight for what I believe in. And I don't follow the crowd. I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And I have real deep reasons of why I'm doing this. Like I'm not trying to grab attention off this or that. I love this. Yes, you can see. Well, you, yeah, maybe you can see I, I, if, you can, if you can see her class, mm. she there's I said there's a difference between you. You're like me. We're passionate. Man, you're it, pumping. It, People love it, you. So we're passionate. When we teach us, it's from our heart. It's yeah. not just mm. okay. Uh, okay, we gotta teach you a one two step. Yeah, one two step. Okay, yeah. you know what? Just hit here, hit there. No, we're gonna we're gonna literally from from right from the get go till the end. Yeah, you mm. know. You are gonna enjoy this, enjoy the ride. So that's when I look at her. I say, "Oh, pump, pump, <laughs> yeah, oh, man." Pump. You came <laughs> in, oh, like this quiet new guy, a little feeling, and then you pumped up, and people seen who you are. Like you're awesome person. People love your energy. <laughs> Lady boy by nine. His class <laughs> is like seven thirty eight. You know what yeah. I mean, and that's usually when the gym's quiet. Everyone comes just for his class. Yeah, so yeah. because Lady Boy's cute. Oh my oh. god! All right. <laughs> Cracker. Question, 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 quick. question. Um, your intro into, I mean your. When you come into the ring, what's your song? Oh, depends on my mood. Sometimes I do trance or I, I do love DMX. What's trance, guys? DMX. <laughs> I love yeah, DMX. Wait, wait, wait. What's trance? The, trance music the, is the, like that euphoric the clubbing fucking, music. Yeah, the rave. Uh, uplifting, uplifting, rave. uplifting. It's like 132 beats per minute. <laughs> 120 beats per is minute. It? Yeah. It's, it's the, that like... Uh, uh, techno, in rate, techno, techno style. I think it's above it, but it's more melody. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like uplifting. So, uh, so what was your fight song uh, from your cage match? DMX. Which DMX? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a new one. Um, don't play games. Oh, don't Didn't play DMX games. just pass away? Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. I actually got so upset at that when he passed away. Yes, but oh. it, it, I love know, DMX. You know. It, it's now it, you're talking me. You love DMX? DMX? Yeah, like it, it will pump you up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can hear his passion, his yeah. voice. It's just like you cannot not get, not get pumped I, up. I, I know. Because yeah. like not many people know, but DMX had a lot of messages in his songs and that. Mm. Yeah. Like uh, like for if you just listen to rap, you go, oh, yeah, it's a nice song. Did, he, uh, did he create the, uh, the song Rough Riders? Yeah. No, the, no group, the group. The group. He was the, yeah. the group. The Rough group. Riders anthem? Yeah, the Rap song? Riders Anthem, but the group it is, is Rap Riders. Oh, okay, it's a group. Yeah. See, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I was surprised you say DMX. Really? I, I, I didn't see it. Because it's our what era. What did you say when he asked the question? I was going to think about Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Are you Do serious? I, like <laughs> I got tattoos, you know, hard ass face. Just hey, Justin Bieber, I said. Justin Bieber, I said. I said. Justin Bieber, I said. Justin Bieber, I said. So. Come on now. So, my question, I got a question. Go, go, go. Because you're passionate with your martial arts, you're passionate with your kickboxing, Muay Thai, and MMA. Right. During your, who introduced you to martial arts when you were young? Okay, so no. What one. made you? Yeah. So, uh, should we go back a little? Yeah, that's why we, we got right. this. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, and begin. I want to add to that. Yeah. Why did you pick Muay Thai? Okay. Yeah. I loved it. I love the energy of it. I love the rawness of it, the heart of it. Did you train in Thailand? Or? Yes. Yeah, yes. you yes. went. Okay, okay. I've been there five times. I've lived there for a little bit of a period of time, six months, three months. One why, month. why do you guys do it? Not not just... No, no, it's different. It's different. It's why different. do you do it in Thailand? Not so just do it from here. Because it's different over there. Like you actually feel the energy of Muay Thai. I knew it. Because yeah. it's like raw, right? It's not the same here. Like they imitate it, but over there it's where the they imitate it from. It's it, like the original. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Remember, exactly. because uh, which uh, camp did you train at? Uh, uh, I trained firstly Sit Son Pinong. Yep. And then I moved to top team. And oh, then, so you were in Phuket too. Yes. So I was at Phuket for my training camp. My training camp was in Koya. So I didn't stay in Phuket. I went on an You island. did Muay Thai? Yeah, so ah. I did Muay Thai. So I did uh, with Koya Noi uh, outside Phuket because it was a, because if I stayed in Phuket, yeah. I'm only going to party. Yeah. yeah because right. it's a party, mm. dude. You train in the morning, you party at night. Mm. So um, I had to have the mindset if I was going to fight, yeah. right? I need to be away from all this because every pocket of my it, island, there's always a, a gym, yeah. a small gym. Is it is it like how I picture it from the movies? Like you go, you really like in the bush, you know? Yeah, there is. There are gyms yep. like that, but yeah. where you're at in Phuket, it's more like a CD urban. Yeah, like yeah. I've been got to Phuket, shops, but yeah, you got like yeah, yeah, 7 yeah. Eleven nearby. You got clubs yeah, and yeah. stuff. People driving their scooters everywhere, but it's it is open air. Yeah. So you see how the roofs are like over the top yes, and yeah. there's no walls. That's what I love about it. You can see the breeze. Yeah. You can feel it. It's just like so. It's not yeah. like westernized here, really. Uh, oh, it's you know, starting clean. to. It's starting. There's some gym like. Well, we're trying harder over there. Here, it's. One, I think so. One, one to two hours yeah. over there. It's two hours, one session. Six hours yeah. when I was. And in... then it's oh, again in the afternoon. Yeah. So you have to train to fight. If you only do one session a day, That's the only... trainer won't book your fight. You've got to train twice a day, and you got where, to. Do where running. do you stay? Where do you live? There? Inside. Phuket. Yeah. Mainly I go to Phuket. Um, do they I have like a in, dorm there or? They do. But I, I wouldn't want to because. It's party. You hear the noises of the of training ah, all the time. Yeah. If I want to have chill time and people are hitting pads all day, man, I want to have some quiet time. Yeah. So I live probably about a K away in a hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's still quite, you know, nice it's and stuff too. like that. Yeah, Definitely. it's amazing. Man, again, I can picture fucking Van Damme's movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah to be bush. honest with you, so. Yeah. Some but, people can do it like that. Yeah. You know, if you want to do the old school, you can go up to Chiang Mai or Bangkok or something. That's what yeah. we did. We I went on an old school uh, training camp. So the two first two fights. So what happened? You know, kicking trees and nah, shit. No, nah, no, it wasn't know? like that. It wasn't <laughs> like that. So uh, we had the 9.5 kilometer run. At let's five. take him to yeah, Thailand know, and let's take him so to an old the, school gym <laughs> and get him to kick trees. So, yeah. And be like, look, <laughs> you're at the real <laughs> man. Until it breaks, right? Yeah. <laughs> the funniest thing is, yeah. in your mind, it was like that, but reality this was the breakdown when i was there right so for fighters as you said you need to be i was given six hours a day of training yeah so a five o'clock up 9.5 kilometer uphill run because we were on an island so mm. we come back then first we do take after that run we do technique mm. then technique we do pad works pad works where then we do do light sparring then mm. after that cool down the cool down is because the ring and the the gym is an open open gym mm. So cool down was on the beach straight away. Mm. So if you want to get, a, for example, you want to get a protein shake or go get the kayak and go go to go to the other island. Mm. So it was, that was our yeah, that was our cardio, man. So but 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 from nine till four o'clock, I'm just like in the room sleeping. It's yeah, like man. I said, I need this. Mm. Right, then they'll knock on your door at five p.m. Redo it again. Yeah. Except someone knocks a, on your door. Yeah, someone knocks you get on your door. So the, the, Depending on the room, on your budget, also if you have the budget, there you could be on the dorm mate. So, but I said, you know what, I'm, I, I might as well spend. <laughs> I'm already here. I'm gonna fight. So. Did you fight? Yeah, I fought. Muay Thai. Yeah, I fought Muay Thai. Oh, How did you go, mate? The first two fight was good. Yeah. 
But I know I think it was rigged. <laughs> Who did you fight? A falang or did you fight no, a, a tie? I don't know. It's a tie. Oh. It's a tie. So how 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 does it feel fighting with a Thai nah. person? Hey, to be honest with you, this, are they rough? Ah, no, it's not chill. Th- this this the only reason why I felt different because I know the guy fought like seventy five times. So why would you trying to book you with this guy? No, no, but I think it's money. Ah. it's just this. You know, but if you have a good trainer, they wouldn't do it to that, you. But the funniest thing, he just built me more up, right? Yeah. So on the second fight, I had a Russian dude. Yeah. And I said, this guy has no fighting skills, no nothing. <laughs> I fought. Man, I said, I could feel every pain. <laughs> and, go, I go, I go. and we, like, you know, it's, it's only three minutes, right? Oh and three by three. Oh, is that what Yeah. You mean? I can remember in the second round, I said, he keeps coming. He pull, he's dripping water. He's dripping water in here. He goes, okay, you want to quit? No, I don't want to quit, but I can feel the pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But once again, it it's just an experience. Angelica, Angelica. Yes. How, how are you, um, like, inside the ring, right? You, I mean, you're pretty intense now. Mm. I can feel your intensity. But yeah. the difference between you inside the ring and outside the ring. Nothing. Nothing. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more kind outside the room. Yeah. Um, in there, I don't really. Um, you zone out. Smile. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, you yeah, want. You want. You want. You want to see the fierce. Yeah. I'm. Not, I'm not here to make friends. Like some people, when they're fighting, they give little. Oh, you're different. You're like me. Stuff. I don't do that. I don't yeah. like to. Yeah. I'm here to fight. We're yeah. fighting. We're yeah. not here to be friends. You know, yeah. we'll be friends after. Always. We'll be friends after. Yeah. Always respect my opponent. Uh, so you, you, before the fight, you psych yourself up that I'm going to fucking fuck this motherfucker up. You know, you have yeah. to. You're like that. Yeah. She's different. I mean, well, I, I can I can Look, it's the only way to think. Yeah. No, yeah. man. I was different. No, because you I see me. I yeah, know. Oh, man, but I think if you don't. It's hard to win. Like, how are you gonna just be like, oh, let's just have fun and la la la. Yeah, yeah, you that's me. I have fun. Yeah. No, <laughs> 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 you, that's you why see, you lost. The game. Yeah, it goes. Everyone goes. There is you. Fucking make me laugh. You can't fucking win. <laughs> now I'm a la- like I'm supposed to hate you. I hate. I yeah. hate rolling with this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's the yeah. worst. He yeah. starts tickling me in the middle of the yeah. roll. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. the worst guy. Yeah, people, people that is the worst. It's when the worst. Makes you laugh when you're training, man. It makes you weak. And yeah. Laugh. Yeah. So when the cage goes, there is. I'm supposed to hate you. Nah, man. <laughs> You're not gonna hate me. You're gonna love Some me. Some people yeah. are like that. They can talk to their opponents. Yeah, I talk to my opponent. And then fight what, them. Wait, and then fighting? Nothing. You talking? He talks. I while. talk. I talk. <laughs> he my talks calm, while I it's annoying. Yeah, I it's talk. Annoying. I enjoy. I said. And the, rather than have your game face, I, I'm more relaxed. <laughs> so your opponent yeah. gets fucking annoyed like that? He starts no, laughing. No, they, they start laughing. He, he, puts start laughing. The game. he puts them off the game. I want to ask also, because we're going into yeah. the game face, I want to know your stare. Like, what's your stare down like? What are you. Or like, I just look. You just look. There's no. There's you don't no pra- facial expression. Nothing. You don't practice in the mirror or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, do that? I don't know. Oh, a, no, I don't do it. Because this guy is doing it. Do it. <laughs> dude, I don't. Uh, dude, I just went like that to the uh, to the face off. Then he did. I took off my shirt. I go, yep, I got a six pack. That's enough. Uh, then I look at his. Uh, I said, yeah, 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 I know. I look good. Uh, the most important thing I was I looked good oh. during my fight game right when I took it off <laughs> then I fucking uh, I went I flex man I said like fuck I'm ripped is this the way in is this yeah, the way in a day a day before well, the even fight when you, even when you, you meet if you're focusing on looking good or looking <laughs> like this you're not focusing on the wanting right to things. win yeah, yeah. So, I want to look at my opponent's eyes I want to feel their energy yeah. I want to feel where so, they're at it's like when you you know when you face off the guy was trying to put a fist on my thing on my face yeah, what the- so I just go Hey baby, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah, I just like. And then hey, what happens? What happens to that? Crack up. Oh, I want to get back to that for a quick sec because, like, I started martial arts quite late. I started at nineteen, and yeah, what made you? To answer that question before, how did I find the martial arts? When I was young, I was always an athlete, mm. like winning mm. all the carnivals and stuff. And I never. So you were a runner. You runner, jumper, mm. all of it. Wait, what school? I went to Gates Avenue Public School What's and that at? Cumberland High School. Oh. Carlingford. Carlingford, yeah. Shit. Yeah. What year? Uh, 2011, but I oh, dropped out. Man. I dropped out. We're old. Year 11. I dropped out. Year That's 11. all right. Yeah. Not- but I did finish my HSC at college the year, same year, yeah. the ne- next year, um, because of things. But um, yeah, so I always wanted to be Olympics. I remember oh. the 2000 Olympics. I was mm-hmm. six years old and I was watching like Kathy Freeman and all that. And I wanted to do it. And 
you know, when you're a kid, like you look forward to certain things, like some people want to go to Disneyland or whatever oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. Every year my highlight was that carnival. Like I want to race. I used to look forward to oh. it in, it's January and it's in July. I look forward to it in January. Like I can't wait for the middle of a year for that carnival. Mm. And I wouldn't eat. I remember I couldn't eat. I'll be full of nerves and excitement. Like I'm about to go race every year, uh, athlete champion. And then I'd go and would verse the other schools and I'd beat all of them too. And I never trained. I never had like... Specific... Yeah, you have this uh, an athlete body. Natural. Or natural. Yeah, I played yeah. sport every day, like with the yeah, boys yeah. and stuff. I played sport, but I never had specific athletic training. Mm, yeah. I was just loved racing. And all the other girls that had that specific training, I raced these girls. And I remember beating them. Mm. And I felt like, you girls got training and I didn't beat you. I, I, I felt like <laughs> this is a gifted athletic mm. ability. Mm, yeah. And whatever happened, I didn't have the uh, opportunity to take my running further. Um, so high school, I was really into basketball. I remember I was really mm. good at basketball. And I wow. Was, now we're going to talk about basketball later. Yeah, I was really into basketball and stuff. And I was really fucking good. Like I would swish <laughs> it all day. I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I should be a basketball player, you know? Before I'd, like, I'd be getting through in the canteen, the boys like, where's Ange? She's on our team. Because I we would always win. When it's like team. Cumberland. Yes, yeah, yes. outside that the, the outside court. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like things would happen um, around 16, 15, 16, Things were happening in the home. Yep. A bit of domestic violence. Yeah, that's fine. Stuff yep. Like that. And I dropped out of school. And I remember in that time period, I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do now? You know, I was going through a lot of things. Is this the one to take out the nerves or they take out the pressure? Or? No, I was going through too many things. I was uh, troubled. Mm. Okay. I was troubled. I was getting suspended. I was doing, you know, just not respecting anyone. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Chip on my shoulder, mm -hmm. F the world type thing, going through a so lot you of went, things. So you went to that phase, yeah. Yeah, through the pains I was yeah. going through. I wasn't just doing it. Um, to rebel, yeah. Yeah, no, I had like pr things I was going yeah. through. You mm. know what I mean? Problems I was going through. And I dropped out. And then around um, 15, 16, I remember looking on YouTube. And I was looking at random videos and I was looking at street fights. <laughs> I know because I was getting into street fights. So I'm like looking at random street fights and I came across cage fighting. I'm like, what is this sport? And I clicked the video. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's like pe people smashing each other in the cage. I'm like, what is this? It, excited. Yeah. yeah. And then I saw a female one and I opened it and it was Chris Cyborg. So this was like back in 2010 when Chris Cyborg was fighting like Gina Carano. Yeah, Gina Carano. Gina Car yeah, yeah this Gina is back Carano? in the day. Yeah, I know. And I'm like 16 years old. I'm like watching this. I'm like, boom. Like I didn't get to do this sport or that sport. I'm like, this is my sport. Wow. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I remember my heart just exploding when I was watching it. And I'm like, this is for me. Because my challenge, my sport, this is me fighting in there. So I'm like... This is me doing this. This isn't a team. It's yeah, it's an individual sport. Yeah, and yeah. I, all that aggression, all that those things I was going through. That was help. Yeah, I could see myself doing. I remember seeing Chris Cyborg in there, just smashing girls, <laughs> and she was just aggressive. Like yeah. she wasn't just waiting. She'd just walk through girls and just. I could feel and that energy. And Chris Cyborg's big. Yeah, she's a huge mama. Yeah, <laughs> but when she fought back then, she was so forceful. Like she's a force in that octagon. I remember watching it and seeing that energy. Like, boom! I'm like, I can do this. I remember watching it, saying, I can do that. And then, you know, I didn't pursue it until 19. I was still a bit troubled. Um, I was getting to a lot of street fights, stuff like that. I did finish my HSC. I wasn't doing too many bad things, but I was just very easily triggered yeah and so every time i go out yeah. yeah every time i go out my friends we drink or whatever we do it would end up with a, a fist a fight so which gym were, what, your first gym so, so what was it uh, which martial 19 art? years old yeah. i um do you know the rapper yellow wolf yellow wolf he, yellow. oh anyway he came to sydney for a concert you should know I yeah didn't know that one. this was the turning <laughs> point for me like um there was we had i got into a massive brawl this concert <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, my friend broke her, her knuckle on someone's jaw. She yeah, shit. Went to the hospital. No, oh, thank God. No, it was craziness, like yeah. a mosh pit type thing, like just punching. My shirt was ripped, bloody noses, oh, everything. Oh man, it was, it was craziness. Um, I remember because I've been, I was getting to a lot of fights when I was younger, like out in the clubs and stuff. And I, re I remember that one was like, okay, I don't want to do, I don't want to keep getting into fights, um, out and about anymore, like. Something can happen. And I remember sitting in the hospital with my friend with a broken hand and being like, my friend had to 
endure what I sort of triggered. Do yeah. you know what I mean? My friend yeah. got involved. And I, that's when I, and not only because of that, I was just done with getting into street fights. Like I was just like, I want to, I yeah. just knew I was better than that. Mm -hmm. And I knew that what my beliefs about myself and my actions were not on par. So that's when I'm like, okay, next week I'm joining the gym. Next week I'm going to step into the gym. And I was looking online, like what gyms are around here? And actually back in the day, the UFC gym in Sydney just opened. And that was- Alexandria. Yeah, but yeah. that was the third UFC gym in the world. So it wasn't so commercial. Yeah. It was like real amazing martial arts. And I went to try it out first. And when I tried it out, I'm like, this is an amazing gym. I'm joining this gym. I walked into my first- From Alexandria. So where, yeah. were you, where were you living before? I was living in Dundas Valley. Man, that's <laughs> far. Oh, yeah, I was trekking. <laughs> and no it. train. Yep. <laughs> two no, no, there is train. Is two there trains. Train? Two trains. So you get off at Mascot and then go for a little 10. It's Clyde, from Clyde to Dandas. No, I'd catch a bus to the station, to Eastwood, to the city, okay, yep. to Mascot. So yes. I was tracking Because Carlingford has a, has a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. got a line. Yeah, yeah it has a yeah, line there. So I, I was tracking it out there every day, training three hours a day that's every dedication. day. Far yeah, I just out. fell in love. And that's when the Muay Thai hit me because I wanted to fight so badly. And one of my coaches said, if you could pick one of the martial arts, which one would you choose? Because I was training all of them. Boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, mm. Judo. So, yeah. All of them. I said, which one would you pick? I said, Muay Thai. He goes, stick with that, mm. get good at that, and add the rest. And that's when I flew to Thailand and had my fight. Yeah. yeah. How many fights in total in Thailand? Seven. Seven. Wow. In how many months? Oh, I've gone back and forth. So yeah. first time I was there for a month, I had one. Mm -hmm. Then I went back for six months and had three. Then I went back again for three months. I had another three. Then I went back and for one month, I had another one. So it just like, it all adds up when I go there. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you watch fighting? I, I, I just watch it casually. Not, not, not really like analyze. No, everything. but what fight Which, do you watch? What kind of fighting? Boxing? It, MMA? No, nah, I just watch, I watch whatever <laughs> he posts or whatever oh, okay. I can see in YouTube yeah, pops okay. up. But you don't but, watch uh, like Manny. You don't watch. Nah, man. Manny. Like I'm not really into. He's a lover. Boxing, yeah? What sports do you watch? Man, I'm not really into sports. I'm gonna. He's a watch, car. He's like, a car. I'd rather work with my car. See, oh, what, what, <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's the other side of the philo side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a car. He's a car enthusiast. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. work with my car or you know yeah. go out and eat. <laughs> yeah. But is it more a foodie? But but I know things. Yeah, right. You know, I know things. That's why I I ask. I'm I'm interested as well. That's why I ask you. Because you went a, to Thailand, yeah. are you in the bush? You know, I, it's a different culture, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it's so a, just funny. another culture. Yeah. The fighting culture is different. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a different thing. Did you see the Netflix, you know, when um, they I did... I don't watch Netflix. I try to not watch movies. No, and... no, no. no. It's, not a, it's a, doc, a documentary of every country of their martial arts. Uh, it's ah. done by the, uh, Frank Grillo. Mm. Uh, Frank Grillo. Yeah, Frank yeah. Grillo. Yeah, the, the actor. The actor, yeah. the MMA actor. So he did this. Did he, he MMA or what? Uh, MMA actor? Yeah. He, look, he's... He, he's just he's into a practitioner. Action no, he's a practitioner. Yeah. So he does he does jits. He does he you know he does MMA also, but he went to every country. So he went to Cambodia to do Let Way. You know he went to Thailand, the capital of uh, kick uh, Thai boxing mm. or kick uh, Muay Thai. Yeah. So he literally went to every uh, Southeast Asia or even uh, South America, right? So he it's pretty good. You should uh, check it out. It's yeah, what's Frank, it called? I forgot the title, but it's Frank Grillo. <laughs> oh, check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the baddest I'll person. I'll be like, Google, yeah. the guy that went to every country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Frank Grillo. So <laughs> other from that, other from sports, what are you into? Cars? Ooh. Mm. I love traveling. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love traveling. I love exploring. I love trying new things. I love like adrenaline type things. I love speed, like driving the car. Like you gotta go with the, you gotta go with this guy. Man, I gotta yeah, I, I like I adrenaline as well. Like doing all this fucking jumping, like a uh, drift. No, no, jumping off a cliff. What? What do you? Bungee, <laughs> bungee, yeah. bungee yeah. jumping. Yeah, yeah. bungee <laughs> jumping. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> jumping on That's the cliff. Horrible, oh, like, yeah, yeah, go. I love Easy, jumping yeah, off yeah, the cliff. Yeah, yeah, I was like. Yeah, uh, yeah, bungee jumping <laughs> and uh, you know yeah. the, the you flying serious? fox. Yeah, I do all that shit, man. So you well, that's cool. Great. I never knew this about you. I always, every time I go overseas, I look for the, for the adrenaline, adrenaline stuff. Yeah. yeah, like this one time I was in, I was, I went, I was eighteen, I was in Turkey with my friend. Yeah, and like you know those boat cruises, you go on a day, they give you lunch, you go to little yeah, islands. Yeah. 
There was one stop, they stopped. And I actually swam about 100 meters because I saw some guy jumping off a 20 meter cliff. Mm. Yeah. So I knew the boat was going to be there. So, all right, the boat's going to be there for an hour. Good, I got time. I swam there. Oh, shit. Climbed this little thing <laughs> and walked up the walkway. And it was just me and this other guy. He already jumped. So I'm like, okay, it's my turn. And the mountain was dagged. And I had to run. So you cannot just jump, otherwise you're dead. You know, you have oh, to run. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I ran. Uh, blitz, yeah, 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 I'm like 18. I'm like in another country. I'm like, I'm doing that. I have to try it. I'm here once. I've got to do it. I ran, jumped. And I, I was like wooing in there like, woo. <laughs> My mouth was like open. So oh, when I landed. Oh, the water? Yep. Whack. Blood. Broker, yes. Oh, shit. So yeah, I got a story Blood on this everywhere. one. I came up. And my lip, I'm like, oh my gosh, my lip's spilling off my face. Oh, shh. That's what I felt. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going it's on? It's numb. You know that cleft yep, thing? Yep, yeah. Mine's gone. Oh. Like, oh. I, like, it went up to my nose. Like, oh. it almost felt like my lip went off my face. <laughs> what a holiday. I've done crazy shit. Like, Thailand, like, on the scooter. Yeah. Hitting yeah. it. I've been hit. <laughs> I've rolled, Man, I've oh, had accidents. That, you know what I mean? I've fallen I off. I remember now in Thailand, fuck it, I was in, in Phuket. I rented this jet ski, right? Oh, the dodgy one. The dodgy one. No, no, this is not dodgy, but it's all right. The motherfucking jet ski broke down in the middle of the <laughs> fucking. <laughs> because you know what? They know, so you gotta pay for it. You know, I got stuck there for fucking an hour. I was fucking sunburned, <laughs> just floating around, oh, no, and no one could see me because I was too oh, far from the shore. Dude. Where'd you go? You can't go too far. <laughs> nah, like this not guy? that far. You were... meant to go on the beach. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that far. This but... guy's like running away. With the <laughs> but the people was just like really small now, you know. And, <laughs> and, and, and my my wife, my wife back then, my wife. Yeah. <laughs> fucking didn't know what the fuck was going on. She was just she's, lying she's there. probably with your uh, with your yeah. new missus at the yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> she was oh just like in the beach, you know. I said, Where what, are the, I? <laughs> what the? Are fuck you sure you just didn't run out of petrol? Nah, it was because you really went too broke. far. Did lucky, they, they found you there? Lucky there was another jet skier that was was you know jet ski. Yeah. yeah. I said, oh, this is broken. <laughs> and then he said, oh yeah, yeah, I know where's that from. Though, so he came back and a guy, a dude came back. Gave me his jet ski and then I left him there. Yeah. And I went back to the thing. Oh, shit. Yeah. But I was fucking getting scared already. It was it was like <laughs> an what hour. The fuck yeah, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> Thailand's scary. Sometimes it's like all oh, fine. It's an island, but it's like it's a it's a trap as well. Like oh, there's, there's so many, lot of so dodgy. many opportunities to die in dodgy. Thailand. Dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember when I got hit that day by the the tuk tuk driver. Yeah. He actually went across the other road and smashed me because oh, yeah. he didn't like that I overtook him. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he oh. wanted to show me this is my country. Yeah. Mom, yeah, yeah. And it hit me and I was rolling for about 20 meters, 30 meters. And it was in slow motion. Oh, and it was horrible because I was wearing a loose singlet and loose shorts. Oh, man, you scrape up. I was skinned. I was Are skinned. You? And I, I thought I broke my collarbone. I was holding my arm up and it was horrible. I'm like, you're driving me to the hospital now. And I actually fought three weeks after that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, I trained with the left side. So left leg because the right that, side was see, all bandaged. See, you have that attitude, that mental attitude. Never, it never dies. See, I'll probably, yeah, yeah, nah, I'll do next week. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. nah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Yeah. So, so yeah, I like to travel. I like to, but I also like a bit of relaxation. I don't always like to be hitting up. I like to like see viewpoints mm. and just chill sometimes, have a bit of silent, mm. nice time. And yeah, travel, explore, learn new things, learn new. Yeah, COVID yeah. fucked everything up. Man, yeah. I can't <laughs> wait for this shit to over. Yeah. over. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. I'm so oh, done. I know, so... I'm so amazed that people are still positive and goal-driven and everything like that. Yeah. But there are some people out there that worse. I'm grateful in Australia, in Sydney. Yeah. We're yeah. good. Gyms yeah. are pumping. We're fine. There's some countries, they yeah, no, no, no gym, nothing. So Nothing at all. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Like Manila, 10.30, it's, it's curfew. curfew. 10.30 p.m. Yeah, yeah so uh, long time. See, so like it's India, people, 10,000 people. Yeah, people are, are dying in yeah. that. So it's like for us, we're, we're still shopping center, you know? We're mm. still okay. Yeah. That's all I said. I'm grateful. Yeah, that we are back to it. Like, what's the first thing, guys, you want to do when it's done? Get Japan, out. Japan, Japan. Yeah. Nah, I just want to Japan, get out. Tokyo, Tokyo, and do. Why? All the shit. Why do you want to go to Japan? What's that? Tokyo, Tokyo, the car show there. My dream to to, oh, yeah, to go there, man. They have like crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. it's like it, it will take you one day to just go around that that car show. That's cool. Work out even two days if you really <laughs> you really want to go to every single building. This guy, yeah. two days. That's awesome. Yeah. Bali MMA. Bali MMA. What drives you to Bali MMA? Chicks. Oh yeah, man, man. <laughs> no, no training. <laughs> Bali. This motherfucker. <laughs> Where about in Bali? I want to go back. I'm Bali going Bali as MMA well. because Bali's uh, nice. it's just I just want to explore. But Bali's uh, nice. I like ba it. Nah, nah, I just want to explore the Bali MMA because 
once again, you know, one of our mates opened, they're going to open their own MMA club in Chargao. So there's an island Chargao. in the Philippines. Yeah. It's a one of our island. So it's the, uh, if you love surfing, yeah. that's the thing. And one of our mates that, who trains uh, Jiu Jitsu in here, mm. the husband and wife uh, opened a fight gym down there. Yeah. So now they're just waiting till the border open to pick up. So that's, that's cool. What, what type of fight gym? MMA. MMA. So yeah. so they got everything. That's gonna be good because Philippines don't really oh. have MMA. Scene. No. So it started. You know what? Jiu Jitsu. There's a lot of Jiu Jitsu yeah, practitioner. It's pretty popular. It's popular. Oh, it? Yeah, it's popular. In, in it's just yeah. There's some in one actually. I saw some streamline. one championship Filipino fighters. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. one FC fighters. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. A actually. lot of strikers. Cause, you uh, get me? Okay. Cause I, I, my, my cousins are into it. Like they watch it. That's cool. Yeah. So. I, oh yeah. Look. Every look. Look. I wish Australia had a bigger scene for females. Like honestly, the the female scene pre is pretty weak here. We need more female fighters. No. If you think about it, right. Um. We talk about this earlier on. Uh, I brought this up, if I can recall, a long time ago. Australia is big, but the problem is we don't have any. Small. No, 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 no. We don't have much sp a sp a sport marketing because uh, fight scene is not the number one sport in Australia. Yeah, they it's, don't really. It's like rugby. It. Rugby. No, uh, you have it. We have it too good here. Rugby. It's not like you, there's no opportunity when here. You could be the best fighter. You could be number nine, number two. And I don't know you're there. Yeah, yeah. right. Am I, yeah. So there's your number two, but you still, you still crap because you don't have. You know they don't what? have the market in there. I've they don't have the sponsorship in yeah. there. This it's last, not like soccer yeah. or football, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. These last three years, I've been like looking for opponents, like fight. 2018, who wants to fight? One girl. 2019, who wants to fight? One girl. 2020, one girl got postponed because of Corona. So I've had three MMA fights in three active years. So, so one, one, once, one a now year. Now I'm looking at, I'm speaking to someone at the moment, some um, people that want to sponsor me and stuff. It's good. America. Yeah. So yeah. when I have goals, I write it down. Like I want to be a, a blue belt. Mm. I got my blue belt. I want to be a champion in Muay Thai. I got that. I want to be an MMA champion. I got that. So everything I want, I want to get. And when I say, I say I want to have five fights in a year or six fights in a year or however, and the opportunity isn't there, I'm going to go and get it. Yeah, you need I'm gonna to go. I'm going to travel. Some, yeah. So that, now the US is like, Corona's happening. Mm. But if they can get this visa, like a P1 athlete visa. So you yeah, apply, yeah. you started I'm to I'm looking get. at the next few months. There's, there's quite a, it. you know what? I was watching the, I think there's an another Aussie girl or, or Aussie athlete fighter. Yeah. Who fought recently for for the belt and she lost. Okay. But she trained. Uh, her goal was similar to you. Right. There's nothing in here. So she went back to... Uh, Just there's no platforms for... The men, it's really they're hot. getting signed. You yeah. know, they're guys. But the females, there's not many girls at the moment in every weight class. There are more... So what's your weight class at the moment? I'm... Look, I went to bantamweight, yeah. but really I'm featherweight. So you're better. So, so, so what's 60, the best? 66 kilos. So with that 66 kilos, can you, you're cutting weight. Am I correct? Oh, not really. Not Two really? kilos, yeah. I walk about 70. So I'm so, 69, 70, but... So, 61 for me is a bit of a killer. Like that's I'll, yeah, that's nine kilos. Yeah, I, I get sucked in. I lose a bit of muscle. I don't like it. I'd rather be 66, dry. like a like a bomb. But I need girls active fighters. This mm. a few years ago, they were, we're quite in the a wrong few. sport, Angelica. They've all left. They've gone to the US or they've mm. given up or whatever it is. Yeah. Now, okay, One if the opportunity isn't here, I'm gonna go find that door and kick it down and yep. go through it. All right. Did you hear this, guys? I'm hoping anyone in One FC, all right, one sing FC? at One FC is one of the biggest. Better white, band some white girls professional. Okay, Angel Warriors. Angel here. Warriors here. Let's go worldwide, baby. Contact but T2D, the new sport manager. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? T2D. T2D. Which one? All right. <laughs> Wait, is it, are you talking about one championship? Yeah, one championship. One is that FC. the one that you're talking about? Yeah. One FC? One FC. They that's actually the don't have a bantamweight or featherweight No, we'll make division. one. Chatri City. <laughs> oh. They have um, a lower weight. So Chatri. <laughs> make the division. Yeah, make the division. Let's I'm calling go. you out. <laughs> right, I'm calling you out, Chatri. <laughs> you here, the future sport manager right here, all right? <laughs> here, the function manager. <laughs> well, you, when you, when you want to fight in the US, you just need a visa, right? So, yeah, once I get the no, visa, really, huh? the thing is the opportunities are there. There yeah. are girls. There is a bigger scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a birthplace, basically. Yeah. Like MMA, you want to make it? Go there. Of course. The, yeah. the UFC, everything. So which, Vegas. which state? I'm thinking either Cali or Las Vegas, Vegas. Cali, yeah, Cali. Nevada, California. 
Something around there. Any and families down there? No, but I have friends and friends of friends and people like that. Yep. Yes, 100%. So one, get the visa. Two, go. Get the team. And then look at opportunities. Fight, fight, fight. Let's get that. But contract. if you get a fight from, let's say, 1FC. Let's say, I don't, uh, because if, it, yeah. it's Southeast Asia. But once again, we don't have the division. We'll make the division, Chatri. We'll make it. <laughs> Who is this? Chatri Sidayong is the CEO. Yeah. All right. He's not going to like that. If he, he, like like that. Yeah, if he listens like... and he says, Who are you? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, like, oh, man. Yeah. He's going to be like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm so out of Chatri the... So Chatri Sidayong is a Thai. Uh, look, he's a Thai fighter, but he graduated in Harvard. He became a the one of the uh, one of the best financial investor within when he didn't. And then he year. made this. He made this. He said, "I want to invest something that I really love, passionate." Because what, he was, to compete with UFC. Yeah, to compete. Now he's asking UFC to do a big a mega, mega, event. Yeah, mega, mega, mega yeah. champion a versus mega champion. Yeah. Thing? Yeah, champion versus champion. I don't think they do it the UFC. No, because, because you know, you know why? why? It's gonna give them um, publicity. Yeah. And, okay. The yeah. uh, the only difference between UFC look UFC when everyone say MMA UFC is the biggest platform. Right? Exactly. A, if you want to make it UFC, UFC is where it's but at. at the moment the biggest platform who's pay, making the money on paying the buck for the athlete to compete is one FC. Right. So one FC can secure you paying a six, the athlete. Uh, a hundred thousand. Only, only in Asia. No, 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 it's international, worldwide. International it's fighters get they, signed they, they, and they fly them, so, and their uh, shows are usually around. So Asia. they did, yeah. they did, uh, they did even a. It's like a basketball sw- uh, uh, traded. So we trade you three fighters, you give us three fighters. You know. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this. Can I ask? I don't know how much you know into this, but one FC, right? Um, is, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I know that um, Dana White is starting to stop the personal ponce- sponsorships on the on Logo, the logo. Yes. The recent, on what? Sorry. On the pants. Doing? He's stopping them. So yeah, that's been done. So the reason why, so this is uh, going back. You know the sponsorship. Are you talking about the sponsorship Venom the sh- deal? No, before Venom deal it was Reebok, right? And before that, there was free. Yeah, free. Whatever they want. So it doesn't matter if you're a low fighter, you still make uh, six. Uh, yeah, six, you put your brand yeah. on yes, your. Yes, you make outfit. six digit, uh, six digit numbers from yeah. from your sponsors. Yeah. So yeah. that will help you to train yeah. full time, twelve months, so uh, uh, three hundred sixty five days a year. Yeah. yeah. Twelve months, um, you know. Yeah. That was good. Now, when Reebok came on board, he's taken all that away. It's taken uh, taken her 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 personal money personal because he can't sponsor, right? Yeah. So the reason why he, Mr. Dana White did that, he said he wants to be like the NBA, the NFL. Like for example, NBA had that. Let's say today, this year we have Nike. Yeah, but pay him that way. Pay him like the NBA. Yeah. But the pro- <laughs> you know yeah. the hardest you part. Know I mean? You know the hardest part. Let's say you're you're in a. So you're not allowed to put your own. No. Your Dennis, own no. Dennis, how much would it take for you to get into the ring? How much would you want? How much? How much? Yeah. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? No, yeah. which car actually? Which car? Which car? <laughs> yeah, what car? What do you mean? How much? How much money to, to wise? Train, no, to, to fight. To fight and fight someone. To, to fight uh, UFC, someone. Let's how say much? It's only good. <laughs> yeah. Fucking one million. One say, million. <laughs> say you know what? The cheapest one was three thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. The, the fifty thousand you know is fifty thousand maximum. When they first did it. That, no. I Minimum know, no. now with the venom, I think is twenty four thousand. See, that's good. Twenty four thousand. Reebok yeah. will pay only you five thousand if you're yeah, pretty from pure beginning. Twenty four thousand, Dennis. Twenty four thousand. You make your debut in the UFC, you get twenty five grand. Not bad, you know. And he builds it every. The more victories you get, yeah, they, you know, yep, the higher right. you get. It's, will it's, you go in the ring for twenty five thousand? Nah, man. That's what I'm saying. So the personal, <laughs> the personal, yeah, um, it makes it up, right? It makes it like. You know what? I'm, I'm the purse isn't the main thing. The the sponsorships to Are train paying. to like put all the effort in, so you don't have to worry about yeah. the financial thing. You know what they're doing now instead of the clothing, they're actually getting sponsors through the Instagram. So or they're the Instagram. they're writing oh. like what they're sponsored by yeah. and posting. Yeah. Oh, right, I'm getting okay. at, I'm nutrition from here yeah. or my clothing from here, whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah, so they've they've, they've made the ways to get sponsors, right, but okay. it's still not the same it's, as the yeah, clothing. Yeah, yeah, it's not the same. So I'm wondering, is uh, one FC? Uh, they do. They're open. They're open. So on the shorts, it's like black shorts filled up with sponsorship. So it's like boxing, like back then, yeah. But now, isn't one FC? It's free. You can wear what yeah, you want. yeah. But I'm I think sure. it's now uh, Venom won all the contracts. Oh really? Oh really? Yeah, they're wear- they just started wearing Venom also. Okay. okay. So, but. Once like, again, you know, like boxing, is, yeah. you can wear your own trousers. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you, can, you can put makes, whatever. See, yeah. the boxing is a dirty game. It's a dirty game. <laughs> 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 Come on, bro. No, no, no. It's a dirty game. I mean, it's all about money. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said. So all sports really yeah. are. Yeah, yeah but, bro. <laughs> but once again, look, that's why boxing is a prestige sport. That's what people. I don't like these fucking YouTubers and that, uh, that, 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 that changes. And that Ben Askren shit. The, I, yeah, I didn't that. even look at the videos. I didn't want to watch it. I didn't want to give my energy to it. Yeah, yeah don't yeah, waste. So yeah. like, 
Uh, no respect, you know, martial like, arts, boxing. No, respect like the real you, ones. It's like you, you train. Think about this. All it's the like am- a circus. All the mm-hmm. amateur who's been training for years. Yes, they became number one national champion, state champion, ABA champion, WBA junior welterweight, whatever. Yeah. Then they can't get a fight because there's not much, because their name's not that big. Yeah. Mm. Then you grant a YouTuber a professional fighter. Yeah. That because he has what? Followers. Clout. He has one clout. million followers yeah, or something, yeah. yeah? He has clout. Mm. It's not a joke. Man, it's, it's, it's then you put it. But, He's just only been training what six months, yeah. Right? Then you, what, what's, you that, what's that? Um, female MMA. Um, she was jiu jitsu, uh, and then she went into WWE. Ronda, uh, Ronda. Ronda. Ronda Rousey. All right. All right, Ronda Rousey, right? She, she is, she was good at what she did, right? Yeah. But she was also entertaining outside of the ring, right? So she was making, she was making people come. She was not just from her fighting. But also from her persona. Her persona. Yeah. yeah. You got to create this persona. Look at Mayweather. Yeah, but. Look at Mayweather, but bro. The, but remember. He's a pure businessman. Yeah, but he's a business. Look, we're talking about Ronda Rousey. We're talking about. Uh, that McGregor Mayweather. guy. McGregor. Yeah. But they're all, they're all fighters. They, they, they train since they were young. They train. That, that's their living. Yeah. That doesn't matter. We're talking about YouTubers who's been three months, six months. Why did he do that? Because money. <laughs> It, Tell was me what challenge? Know. What, I didn't even know who challenge? he was. I yeah. honestly didn't know who they me were. Too, I don't know. Until I started seeing these things. Like, who the fuck are these people? Yeah. Nah, yeah. And it was cringe. What, I couldn't what, watch what, the videos. What, what, I didn't was watch it, it, it a challenge? He got challenged? Oh, or it's just he got money. money. Yeah, he, was, just he was just trying to, he's trying to gain like um, rep. He's uh, trying to get a rep. Yeah. But yeah. everyone's like sort of seeing through what he's doing. Yeah. Like the, the, the fighters yeah. are like... It really makes ridicules boxing, you know, because it's an amazing sport. You see, like, high level, like Deontay Wilder, yeah. Tyson Fury, they're, they're, Canelo, you know. You know how many... Lomachenko. Canelo's unreal. You know, it's, all Lomachenko these amazing cool, fighters, right? and then you see these clowns coming in. It, it shows the sport to be, like... In a joke wrong, in a way, in like the wrong don't way. Yeah. don't show it like that. It's it should be honored, should be respected. Like they work hard to get where they are. Thank you. And you're getting these jokes of people like NBA players and stuff <laughs> yes, dude, fighting did you NBA under, players? under Mike Tyson. Yeah. What a joke! It's embarrassing. That's why it made me laugh. Uh, Nate the, Robinson. Uh, Nate Robinson. Then he got knocked out, and someone said, "You got knocked out. Just imagine, oh, you got knocked out on what on a 16 ounce uh, gloves." Just imagine you get knocked out on a freaking eight ounce gloves. It's mm. like knuckle eight ounce. It's horrible. Your brain yeah. will just right? so, and then they imagine get money. Four ounce. Yeah. Oh, it's no. like a brick. Yeah. <laughs> that. That's what I said. I said you take months and years. Uh, that's why I feel sorry for all those uh, pros, uh, you know, uh, Do you all know those what? amateurs. This or, is why I love Muay Thai because they're not. It's none of that can go in. You got to be an amazing fighter. You got to be high level, and you got to train. And it's, it's honest. Good, it's see, authentic. See the, see the good thing about Thai when I what I've learned. So I'm not a good. My hands not that good. I could take a beating, right? Yeah. But my kicks are great. Really? Bro, oh, every time you you start a fight, like you start uh, a story with a fight, you go. You never ever say that I'm a good kicker. That goes. You, the first thing you say is I can take a punch. <laughs> yeah. The first thing you say. Yeah, because that's reality. You watch all my. Fight. I know, but, but it's just I said, look. That's not I a defense. Could, I, could, I could take a pay. Look, I said, hey, the good thing about boxing, <laughs> this is why I hated boxing, right? This was why I hated boxing because with boxing is slip, slip, or defense. <laughs> but he throws, you throw straight away. He throws it in Muay Thai. You kick, you hit. You kick, you hit. You go one for one. You go two, I'll go three. You go two, I'll go one. Yeah. I can take it. You like clash <laughs> like a tank. <laughs> in boxing, don't get hit. Don't get, don't stand there. Move, <laughs> move. What Dennis, you say? would you ever go like just light sparring? Would you ever do that? No, nah, man, I'm too fucking pretty boy for this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love man, it, bro. I, I love it. Nah, man. <laughs> man I, I like the art. Okay, I, I, you know, like all the martial arts. I, I like watching it. I like, I, I, man, fucking. When I was a kid, I got books about them. You know. Yeah. You know, I like kung fu and Bruce Lee. Old you know, school. yeah. Mm. So I I understand the thing, but it's not for me. No, you know, one hundred percent, it's not yeah. for me either. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not, look, it's not for even, me. Even though that I know how to it's use the me. nunchuck, yeah. do you do you uh, drag the fight long or do you want to like, end it straight away? It, look, yeah. depends on my mood. Yeah, honestly, sometimes I'm like I'm gonna finish this one quick. The first fight I ever had with Muay Thai, the girl had ten trainers. I had one trainer. Ten trainers. Ten trainers. And they're all mocking me. They all came up to me. I didn't know who they were. I was getting wrapped up. 
And I was listening to music. Is she, I was is she, is she so happy. Is she Thai? She or? was from Lithuania or ah, something. Lithuania. Yeah. That's your cousin. Yeah, uh, that's your cousin, yeah. European. Yeah, and she had like 10 trainers. I didn't know that were her trainers when they came next to me. Like, they said, where are you from? How many bikes you have? <laughs> <laughs> and the trainers and all I'm tight. Like, <laughs> no fights, first fight. Oh, how old are you? <laughs> and they were like looking at me like this. I'm like, who are they? And later on he walked back. I'm like, oh, that's a coach. And it fired me up. I'm like, wait till I get my hands on your girl. Wait till I'm, are you not going to say shit, you know? You don't think. Yeah, and then I was in there and every time she got something, they were all, oh, hey! <laughs> yeah, me, oh, I had like the smallest crowd. <laughs> but I didn't care because I was so like yeah. calm and I elbowed her, KO'd her. Man, elbowed straight away. You doing you Second round, second no, round. No, no, man, my question, you did four, straight away Muay Thai. I went straight to pro. Oh, fuck me. I actually went to a gym in Sydney after I, I left UFC gym. because yeah. they didn't. I couldn't fight from there. I went to a different gym. They told me to have five amateur Muay Thai fights and a purple belt to have a first MMA fight. So I'm like, mm. adios. I flew to Thailand like two months after that yeah. and had my first fight. Um, so in Thailand, it's different. It's daily living. You know, Every TV, day yeah. there's Muay Thai. Yeah, so there's Muay Thai. I remember around, in Phuket, there was a fucking van. Every day the van. Yeah. Like, tonight, Muay yeah, Thai, tonight. real fight. <laughs> then tonight, outside, tonight. That's a, and outside the Lumpini. By, uh, Lumpini yeah, the, I took my family, I took my kids <laughs> and my kids got, <laughs> oh, Dad, Thailand. he goes, hey, Dad, are we going to watch or are we just going to eat? I said, oh... Uh, did you watch it? Uh, no, we. My kids love Muay Thai, especially my young one, right? She's yeah. into it. But we said we'll watch it. But I, I don't think your mom's not gonna like it we get, because of that. <laughs> 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 that's what, that's the why noise, the, the, the traditional the time. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. Four, four hours is all like that, right? I actually yeah. love it. Do you know when you fight with it, it changes your, your nah. rhythm because there's drums like doing yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And when you're fighting, it actually goes through your body. I can't mm. explain it. it makes okay, you, like, my question rhythmic. to you. My question. Wait, wait, before you have to question. Yeah. I thought you were singing porn. For a second, you went. Lord. I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, that's like, oh, no, they, have, they have this traditional. They have this traditional. Uh, the, the, the tie. The it's tie drums dance. and yeah. trumpets, yeah. and yeah. it's together. So it's like. And it's got a. Yeah, they nah, nah. got their own the orchestra. Is playing. Yeah. It's, so, have you got a routine they have to do in the ring, or is it? So when the, the white crew, crew is on, that white crew's on, they'll pump the trumpets. Did you do your, wait, wait. As the fight's going, it's more the drums. Like, Did you do your white crew? Yes. Wow. I have like. I don't even remember. I can't even remember when you're doing this. I do a gun. I do a shotgun. So, so you do have this an arrow. You stomp it, or you catch the arrow and you break it. I made mine up. I'm like, I don't want to copy that one because they're all doing it like that. So I'm like, what should I do? I'm like, I'll do. You know, you're going back to your corner, and I did a shotgun and boom. Then you're gonna. So you have to <laughs> yeah. go all around the ring. Like a big gun. With your gloves. Then you're gonna. Uh, you say respect and to thank you for every corner. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll see the fighter and I said. I get my bow. Yeah. Then I <laughs> it's go. It's all. It's all fun. Yeah, it's yeah. all you fun. Yeah. Then you go. Ah, uh, lady boy, lady boy. What does the guy do? Does the so guy catch the? It's either he catch it or he, or he dodge it or, or break it. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. There's look, by the end of the day, those real fighters. To me, I see they're real fighters because they, for them, they need to eat. It's a fighter's life, in no, there, no, isn't for it? them. Uh, yeah, if you are living in the gym like those Thai guys, that's yeah. why. He, you know, majority of the... Who That's do. why I have so much respect because the trainers that... Oh, yeah, train they're young, 24. Have had like... 325. Three, 500 fights. Yeah. And they are so humble and kind. And it's just like... You know the funniest they thing? They never put their nose in the air. And it's like an honor to mm. train with them. Angel. Like to have a trainer that has fought their whole life, whole pads for me and teach me, for me, I feel honored. And yeah. I have the utmost respect for Thai people and, and Thai trainers. That's why I keep going back. There's a culture to it and respect yeah, yeah. to it that... I don't really feel other, unless I'm there. Yeah. And it gets me in this element of, I love this so much. Yeah. You know, they're genuine. You can feel their heart. It's all, all the energy is yeah. just... Yeah. And yeah, they yeah. don't grow up with much, but they yeah. ha their hearts are rich. Mm. And that's why I love it. Because that's what you see. That's a, that's what I said. By the time they're 24, unless you made your your name for it, you're, by, some of them had more than 300 fights. It's like one year of fighting every day, right? Wow. So think about that. That's how I always see it. Then suddenly, you know, they didn't reach that pinnacle of the mm. point of view, but they are championing their division somewhere uh, down the line. Yeah. But they're an unknown person. But because in here, you only like stand fight. Oh, you can call me crew. I said, nah, man. Man, the other day, one of these students, he came to my class. He's like, what should I call you? 
I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, should I call you sensei or master? I'm like, dear Lord. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you want to call me like queen master lord? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, call me coach mm, Anne. Do yeah. not call me anything yeah. else. It's funny, I eh? do not it's, want that. It's funny. That's why when... when but I was like, why do you want to call me that? <laughs> because when they when they, t- they think Thailand, so that's uh, I said, mate. You, I think you, if you take yourself as a crew and you're not from Thailand, I don't know, the, the Thai funny, people are the, crew. The, the, the funniest thing about it, because there's so many fighters and trainers, and even the trainers, when I started, I goes, Darius, don't call me crew. He goes, what's what's a crew? It's the master. Crew is if you've been coaching for over 10 years. Yes. Is it a Thai word? It's a Thai oh, word. Okay, okay. But it's like a head coach. Phalangs it's, call themselves yeah. crew. But, but phalangs, like, phalangs is white. white. No, foreigners. Foreigners, yeah. Yes. yeah. But I feel like you can't. Like mm. they are, it's from them. Yeah. You can't take that yeah. and say it's yours. You know, it belongs to yeah. Thailand. Every time I finish my class, I was saying kapun kap and yeah, kapun ka. Kap. Because that's what they say, teach us they in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I want to show that that's where I've learned respect yeah. and honor and integrity for martial arts mm. and spread it to my students. We're not just going to like Buy away. disrespect it or anything yeah. like that. We're going to respect the culture and art of it. So mm. yeah, don't call me anything but Coach Eng, please. Mm. You can call me Queen Master if you like. <laughs> Up to you. I got a question again. You uh, know, this uh, uh, Muay Thai in, in Thailand, yeah? When you yes. train, do they have belts? No. No, you mean right? Like championship belts? No, no. Like when grading. you train, grading. No. There's no, no. CT. There's, there's, there's no grading in Muay Thai. There's no grading Did you hear that? Yeah. Now it's one person can vouch again. It's not only me because remember. But how about here? In here Western they do place. it to separate classes, but it's westernized. Westernized, yeah. That's it's what I mean. Business. The, exactly. Yeah. Why? Because they got to pay for this. Can I say something to you guys? Okay, let's say I'm just going to do a bus. Let's say she's good in hand. But she still wins Muay Thai. But I come on board. Like she's good on her oh, hands, right? Okay. On okay. her hands, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but she's not good on her feet. But okay, she knows my feet are so good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> come but on now. I, I'm not good in my <laughs> I'm not good in my hands, but I know I can fight with my feet and all my clinches. How can you grade me and grade her in the same bed? Yeah. Same? It's all about marketing. Yeah. All right, guys. E- e- because you can I, never I don't think you, I believe in that You, can you know why people do it Because when they join the gym They're like Oh how do you do sparring Or this and that And they say Oh there's You can do beginners Intermediate yeah, advanced yeah. But there's no grading You know The coach can say You know There's advanced class If your skills are there yeah, But yeah. there's no like Oh you have to learn This kick and that kick To get this belt yeah, There's nah, no, no such way. thing Ever Because you could be The best all around You could be the best guy. Man I could just come in Man, when I'm in Thailand, like learning Muay Thai and having my first few fights, I'm sparring with like Little kids. world champions. No, they invite me, the oh, Thai yeah. champions, to spar. There's no like ego. Yeah. They're all trying to help. We're all sp- training with each other. Yeah. They did have a pro ring though and a learner ring, yeah. but that was it. There wasn't like, okay, you're in this There's part. no ranking, you no. know, like you're a fucking private and you know, there's a, you know. General. Yeah. yeah no, so they respect, yeah. that's what I love about Thailand. You can be in the UFC or you can be a world champion Muay Thai, you're some overweight person or whatever you are. Yeah, you're still learning. You're learning. all treated the yeah. same. There's no like, oh, there's grading, you're, I'm a black belt Muay yeah. Thai. Or I'm a that's why it made me laugh. Belt. It made me laugh. I'm not going to say which gym. But <laughs> there are a lot around Sydney Yeah, but I said, Guys, I said, what? No don't thing. do it. I said, just, it's no. really hard for me to gauge a two person who, uh, like, I said, you could be the best b- hand move. You yeah, got yeah, this, yeah, yeah. then suddenly you, you outstrike me. Then, so how, okay, should I give you a black belt on that or a blue belt? <laughs> That's or so a cringe, yeah. yeah. Right there, I said, Look, I understand why they do it in jiu-jitsu because you got to see the skills and the skill level. Skills and level. You sort and of get rewarded. Syllabus. And there's a syllabus too. And also the hours and the time, right? That you have to get that, right? There's like in from zero to... Yeah, but even that, even that, it's generally your professors that watch you. And if they it's see true. that... If they see that, like, not just, not just your skill level, but the person that you are... It's like a combination of stuff. And even that's and for competition reasons, like imagine you've been training for 10 years and you've got someone that's been training for two weeks. How are you going to separate that? Yeah, right, so right. I do understand the jujitsu aspect of black belts and stuff like that because there's the respect mm. to it. Like that person's been training for over 10 years. Mm. They have so much more skills and like you can learn from them. But yeah. with Muay Thai... It's not. No, not at all. There's it's no like you can't add belt, that in. Yeah. You can't do it. And it doesn't work. See, you it's can different. See, you mm. can see it also who's a beginner and who's an expert. Right, you'll see it straight away. Yeah, you know, with um, um, Muay Thai, Muay Thai, Muay Thai, Muay Thai. Has anyone have you ever seen a Thai person break his shin? 
No. No. I haven't. But like, like in the UFC, I've seen yeah. people break their shin when they're kicking and that, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's I've, just a bad luck. Is it? Is it bad luck or is it? Is that's it, again? Do you know what? Did you drinks. see a couple of weeks ago, Chris Weidman? I think yeah. yeah that's a Chris Weidman. Is that the same one that yeah. versus the silver? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Just like a, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like, like a karma. repeat. It's like after ten years, it came but back. But the way uh, if you watch it, see everyone in UFC is now trying to do these calf kicks after the McGregor fight. After they see Conor Conor's legs went yeah. out, and everyone's been throwing these calf kicks. But people don't realize if that person's shin moves slightly, you are chopping that bone. And that's what happened. Weidman went for the calf kick and Uriah Hall's leg was out and he just wrapped it around the knee. Oh. It was around that hard bone. When someone kicks the knee, it doesn't hurt me. You can kick it that hard. It's going to hurt you because yeah. your bone is going here. And that's how he's see, it guys, wrapped around it. It's all about science it. sometimes. See, it's not about... <laughs> that's it's you. physics, yeah? yeah science. Oh, yeah. And, and Thai people have like, you know, they've been doing it all their life. Skipping, jumping. That makes your bone tough. Yeah. Running. Oh, it condenses yeah. it. Yeah, and you're getting kicked. You're kicking. You're kicking all the time. So they can kick each other hard on each other's like shin forearms, shin, elbows yeah. and stuff versus people that have been training Muay Thai that haven't grown up with that their whole yeah, life yeah, yeah. are throwing it on that. It's not conditioned. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I've never, uh, I've never seen a clip where a Thai person's like kicked it and then you just see his leg. Well, maybe let's look. I have seen an arm break. Oh, like I've they've seen, kicked yeah. the arm and yeah. the arms flopped. Yeah, I have seen <clears throat> that. Yeah. I've seen a shoulder. I've seen uh, from the axe kick. I've seen, yeah. But once again, you see that from football too. Yeah, yeah. yeah football's football's yeah, not rugby, conditioned. Yeah, it's but like, they're not they're not kicking trees. But they're you kicking. Can see, <laughs> you, can, you can see like uh, one big tackle. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving forward, mm-hmm. you're coaching. Uh, do you still want to continue coaching? Oh, uh, uh, here we go. This is something that I actually been have been thinking about. I think this year could be a wrap up. Um, it takes a toll on you. Yeah, because you you need to be selfish to be a fighter. I love it. I love helping people. I love inspiring people. And as I said, angel warrior. I don't do it only for my own self. Like, look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to inspire people with my journey, what I've been through. You know, one day I want to make a book. I have a lot of deep things that I haven't said today, but one day I'll make a movie or a book and people will be like, wow, look at how she's come. And I want people to be inspired by that. So coaching has given me the ability in ways to inspire people individually and it's fulfilled me. There's so many times, like, my students inspire me. Like, I look around the class and there's so many people just being being there yeah. and being driven. It inspires me. Like, I make an impact in their life. Yeah, that's it inspires true. me even more to be driven. Like, they're coming for me. I'm going to do even more for them. I'm going to do even more for the, all the people I can sort of impact and motivate, inspire towards their dreams, towards faith or everything like that. So this year, I feel like, if I go to the US and it's confirmed I get this visa, it's straight professional fighting, Done. nothing else until I make it. I do want a gym after I make it. I want to own a gym and make hey, a that's, why But not? that's later, later, later. later. On, yeah. Now I think how, it might be a few How months. old are you now? If you 27. Don't, so how old are you now? I'm 21. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm 19 if you're 21. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. I'm forever 21. Oh, Look, for if you want to be a coach, you got to be all in. If you want to be a fighter, you got to be yeah. all in. Mm. Sometimes fighters, financially, it's not easy. So you coach on the side. Mm. But even then, you're sacrificing your recovery time, your energy and Everything. stuff like that. So once I go US, straight full-time fighting, you know? You gotta, Wake you up gotta, two, got, three times yeah, a day. this small gap now that you have to get it. Look, yeah. where's the fights? Do you know what I'm saying? I have time to coach. I have time to train twice a day. I have all that time mm. right now to do what I love. So I'm grateful and blessed. But there's another level to it. And once I go get those fights and opportunities. I don't want coaching. I want to be just mm. straight fo- focused yeah. on what I'm doing. That's what I always say. You need to be selfish if you are going to fight. There's no, sometimes there's no time for bickering, backering with uh, family. You got hundred percent energy every yeah. day. Where's your energy going? Is it going to family, friends? Is it going to coaching? I need a hundred percent of my energy mm. going to this dream. There's no 95%. It's yeah. all in. So you got to sacrifice invest. your whole life. Mm. So I'm, I hope you get it, man. Thank you so I much. Hope, I'm, I'm really I, hoping this hap- this works yeah, out with this. Yeah. And then let's see what happens next. Look, man, look at uh, Nunez. How many, how many times before Bro, she... She got fucking lit be, up. In, be, be, um, before like, she lost, before yeah. she became a, uh, a champion, a double champion. On you her, know no. what? Last few years, she's gotten real strong. Her size, her body has changed. 
You know? <laughs> yeah, no. Probably no. <laughs> they all are. You think so? I think so. She, oh, she man, wasn't knocking no one out and then she started knocking everyone out. Like it was like every girl that really, faced her was yeah, getting knocked out. getting more because he has more money now. He has more strength conditioning course. Yeah, you know what? Strength and conditioning has really made a difference with his <laughs> new level fighters. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? Maybe they're adding something else to it. Uh, She's like, uh, unreal. Uh, She's then, unreal. Uh, you know, I, I could see this channel getting lit up because of Angelica at the moment. Because, Guys, you know what? Please, uh, please discipline me later because my mouth sometimes... No, <laughs> no. We're going to get... I'm going to tag Nunez. If someone wants to take you out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The I'm down hated. under from Cumberland High School. Give uh, me time. Uh, Give me time. Who's Nunez? Uh, from the US. Every yeah, single yeah. time. I, she's she's going to so come funny. for you. Yeah. But you know what, Jen, you know, Angelica, I by people. <laughs> from, he's from he's a different, he's different. But anything in cars <laughs> and models. From, from the US. He's, he's a photographer uh, by trade also. No, no, he can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a what? A photographer? Yeah, no, no. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Like he's right. one of the right. random guys. Wait, wait, wait. wait. All right, I got a question. I got a question. Uh, you, done. I'm done. All right. All right go. So we're gonna talk about. Do you follow boxing? Do you follow any? Yeah, yeah, I follow. Like I watch mainly highlights of boxing. I know the high level guys and stuff like that. So uh, all right. So what's your the first before I ask the other uh, question? It's what is boxing. your go to? What is the fight you want to see? With boxing. With boxing. Ooh. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> Who's that? The, the YouTube. The YouTube. I would like to see a rematch with Lomachenko and Tiofimo. Yeah. Yeah, Tiofimo and Lomachenko. I'd love to see that rematch because I think rematch. he's he going to come back because he hasn't lost for how long? You know, 400 fights. He had one loss and he avenged it twice. Yeah. Yeah. And then undefeated as a pro. So. He's fighting though this uh, this coming with the Japanese. Lomachenko. Yeah. How, old yeah. is, how old is Lomachenko now? Is he 30 something? Yeah, no, nah, he's 30. He's late 30s now, isn't he? Yeah, but no, still, I think he's has, early 30s. Uh, right? I was Vasily Lomachenko. So he's fighting another... Yeah, I'd like yeah. to see the TFM every match. So he's fighting this August with a Japanese fella. Yeah. Yeah, so I think he's been injured for the last 15 months, right? Yeah, like he's amazing. When you see the... Imagine, oh, no, he's only 33. 398, 33? 398 yeah. amateur, two gold medalists. Yeah. Then he came in within the first two... Uh, even Teddy Atlas was saying, Coach Teddy Atlas was saying, in the first fight, he goes, watch this kid destroy everyone. It's, mm. it's, 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 it's the way that he goes about it. It's the dancing that kills me. Oh, is yeah, the, just, foot, it, it, the footwork is... The un footwork. But he's like, a big boy. He's bigger he's than... Stocky. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got a lot of oomph yeah, behind so, his punches. But yeah, he, but it's but just it, like... I think people put a backing track in one of when he was fighting. There was a, no, like... So, someone made this meme and there was a song and he was just like... He's just moving. So, so it's like to the beat. He, and you're oh, like... Yeah. He's I was like, watching this, guy's this dancing amazing. in the freaking ring. I was so watching. Cool. That's I was, what cool. fighting was, is dancing. Right. Yeah. yeah, I was watching rhythm. him two, uh, two two nights ago, right? Uh, Vasily Lemachenko's mm. uh, thing. So he did a lot. He's like uh, uh, as a young kid, he did a uh, like zambo. Yeah, he yeah. did judo. He did even jujitsu. Yeah, but zambo was one number one thing. Yeah, you know when wrestling shoots, his same movement that his father taught him. It's the same movement. Yeah, every yeah, time. yeah. So yeah. when he, he, so when he, you know, he throws. When the fighter ducks down, mm. he goes from the back straight yeah. away and hug, like pretend to hug them. Right, then he's he just used to it. He's just used to it. Yeah. Mm. Then he goes there. When he was doing it, it's like he goes, it's like a bullfighter, you yeah. know, the matador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always taunting this way. But he's what do you think he made as a mistake in that fight? I think he wasn't switched on, and he tried to switch on. When the last Tia fight, Fimo didn't switch off. He was pumping all the rounds. He thought maybe let's gas him and then finish him. But Teofimo wasn't gassing. Do you think that was the mistake? Nah, just probably his mindset. He's Getting like, too comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Just was his fitness there? Someone said his um, Lemachenko's fitness Dude, wasn't there at, his at the later rounds. Yeah. At the later rounds, he was looking... His strength conditioning is amazing. Yeah, but did you watch the fight? Yeah. He went to 12, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he and the last... Last couple of rounds, he was looking gassed. Uh, I don't know if he's injured or not. Yeah. So. I, I don't know. But like, Teofimo wasn't slowing down. Do you know what I mean? I he kept going. Yeah, he, right, right, was right. TFN a uh, younger? Yeah, he's like 23, 24. Uh, okay, age, maybe age. I don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. I don't know. So he's, with he's the heavyweight, like, who who do you think next? Tyson Fury versus... Well, he has to Tyson. fight Deontay now. Cause yeah, it's already confirmed. It's yeah. confirmed because that was a third rematch, right? But who would you go Did for? Did you guys watch what happened with that Kago? The last with, one? With the Did glove? you see the glove? Yeah. Is that real or not? That oh, is wait, 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 Is that real? Wait, yeah. wait, wait, what glove? It flexed. No, he someone... like what you do. Like, say you got the... And I love Tyson Fury so much. But do you know the tape the, the on the glove? Yeah. 
So you sort of loosen the hands. So now they're like flopping off your hands. Yep. Now you lo- lower out of the mitt yep. into the hand pit. And now you've got a pure knuckle, right? So if you see the hook, the way it landed in the punch, it wasn't on the mitt. Oh. It was the knuckle. So, so the, is the this patty, another conspiracy theory? It's not like a, it's they fucking, the you video. can see it. You see the video. You can see it happening. Because like I didn't understand what the hell was going on, right? So you Until you explained. Too. Yeah. So, you, so the, you see this. It's like a clown hand. The clown hand's coming across. He hits his face. Like and a then slap, but it's, it's slap. actually he hooks it in the glove. So you're getting so it knuckled. Wasn't, so it wasn't full. Uh, you know, 16 full. ounce. Yeah, it's it your was, knuckle. It's the, the, yeah, the word where the braces yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, so you loosen the glove up and bang. Looks like it's a hook from that side. If you look here, it's his fist on his chin. What kind of an ear? I didn't I didn't see it either until like a video because came across. That's table. some like sneaky old old school shit that yeah. they, they tell you like, hey, do that type of shit. Because I thought Deontay Wilder after that fight, he he lost it. He's blaming his uh he's blaming his costume, he's blaming his uh, coach for spiking. But if a heavyweight to hit you with that, raw knuckle is it's, not yeah. yeah. Look, I, I don't know. I love Tyson though. I really do love his personality. Yeah, he's unreal. Like, yeah, the he's gypsy inspiring. King. Yeah, he's inspiring after his uh, depression. So yeah, I got up. that he made me he made me think on that kind of situation. When, yeah, and when, his faith in Jesus as well. So, He's not ashamed to speak about so that. So when he when he floored his Ferrari on the bridge, floored it, then he just like oh. Then he goes, it didn't break, like meaning he didn't get smashed. It was it's like an awakening, like a god. Yeah, it's, it's him. like oh, I need to get back. You know, mm. I need to get back. But once again, he's crazy too. He's been picking on uh, Canelo Alvarez team all the time. Really? Yeah. What did he say? We, 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 before with Saunders. He hates that uh, because who's the promoter? Uh, the, the the English fella? Who's the promoter of Can- uh, Canelo Alvarez? The fighting. I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. And it's not the top rank. Uh, it's not top rank. It's not the golden boy. It's the other one. The Dan Barz. No, no. Is that the one? I don't know. But... He's been he's been taunting he's he's been taunting he's he called Joel Sander he's part of the Gypsy now. What is it called? Canelo Alvarez who? Um, uh, the one who fought just recently. Uh, yeah, yeah. The the Brits. Mm. Promotion. Bro, he Promotion. broke his face hard. Did you see that? Yeah, orbital. Yeah, it was like le- 60, lethal. Sixteen. Dif- see, did you see the X-ray? Yeah, his that's face is that's just that's gone. Oof. Match match room boxing. I don't know, but 16, 16 uh, bolts. Horrible. Do you see that Joe no, Sanders way? Yeah. Now after that, I go fuck. He can smash someone. You guys love boxing. I love boxing. I love Thai. Whatever martial arts. But when when you go to Thailand, right? Even let's say you spa with a uh, local boys who's been doing it for years, man. You go wow. They're strong. They're you be like amazing. this Thai guy is so skinny and small, but and then the you technique. clinch up with him, and you're like, oh my gosh, he feels like a heavyweight. The <laughs> way he's clinching your neck and pulling you, like. When they're so small, how are they so strong? <laughs> and it's just amazing. Yeah. So that same goes with me when I was boxing in the Philippines, and we were just went to uh, just an ordinary because uh, there's you need a trainer or a small pick up one of these kid. Man, this kid pop fuck left you up. Uh, fuck you up. <laughs> Literally goes and see, he keeps saying sorry. He keeps saying no, 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 no. Keep doing what you're doing. Then it's just amazing. There's so many fighters out there. It can't just because the reason why of poverty, it, they can't have names. You get me. It's just really hard, even though he, Manny Pacquiao came from rag to riches. Yeah. But there's only a certain percentage, you know, to get your name out in there because there's so many fighters in Southeast Asia. Mm. Even the new heavyweight in MMA in One FC, the first Indian. Uh, yeah, did you see that? Yeah, I watched it live. Oh, I watched it live too. When he, uh, when look, I I love Brandon Bevira, the truth, but his age just already took over, right? Yeah. So. We had this discussion. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna ask this to you because I'm not gay. No, <laughs> I wanna I ask you, lady you. boy. Yeah, lady boy, fifty-fifty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> age, yeah. age. When do you think? It's it. That's it. I think males have a bit longer than females. What do you think that 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 why that cut off that age? Because your body doesn't produce the recovering hormones as fast. You don't yep. have as much pumping in your your bloodstream, and just naturally, your recovery times longer. You get injured. <laughs> And uh-huh. that's why everyone's on it because you see <laughs> fighters. I like, I like this. I like this. Yeah. But really, how are fighters fucking forty years old peaking? Thank you. That's why I said to Manny Pacquiao. You think Manny Pacquiao? You know when he was got called out, uh, even uh, what's his name Mayweather was saying, you can't just whoop. There's not. Whoop. They're all on it, and they find ways to get around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muscle, yeah. Eight division. He had 
he said you gotta be on something and remember when that's he the, it's the bay from Mexico so so <laughs> so remember when <laughs> he when Arisa left the team he's like he we didn't want to say anything who uh, Trevor Arisa not, yeah. uh, not Trevor Arisa Trevor Arisa was the basketball yeah player. I know I was yeah, like who so Arisa uh, he's strength and conditioning coach yeah remember they had a beef so that's why he went to he left Pacquiao's uh, uh, Pacquiao's uh, Freddie team. Roach did not Freddie Roach yeah he left yeah he left but he left with a because his contract's finished, right? No, because they had a disagreement. Who? Pacquiao? And Freddie Roach. That's why they left. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. So I knew Arisa had a disagreement with the business manager right. for over fucking five years. He couldn't hack it. So when the Bam Bam Rios fought that, he had Arisa on his yeah, on yeah, his yeah. side. So, but going to that, they were saying, oh, he can't be from this. Then solid bigger. this. Yeah. So, because uh, uh, Manny just told uh, J- Manny just announced Spencer. that he's gonna fight Spencer. That's amazing. But he's forty two. And how old is Spencer? Twenty eight. Twenty. He's coming into his prime. Thirty. No, no. Twenty something. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So, uh, I love Manny. He's just quick. He's but, so amazing. But his age. Do you think age now? Manny's That's what I'm asking you. See, Manny's a different breed. Are you reckon? He's a oh, horse breed. Bah, bah, bah. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look, I think all the top level are doing something. You know what I mean? Like if you're peaking and you're still able to put in a full camp of sparring and hard work and recovery at 40 something, yeah. you're on something. Yeah. And you're finding ways micro, to get around what the was it? What, 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 There are people what, that will... What was it? Micro, uh, pi- pico, 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 picogram. Picogram. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know what the whole picogram is. It's what John Jones got got caught with a picogram, which is like, I don't know, you have to see it with a microscope or the testosterone in your system. Picogram. But yeah, the doctors find ways that you can pass the tests with it. So you'll peak or you'll go on it and then whatever it is. Because like, I think, how are they getting away with it? You know, but there's ways. Doctors show you, you can take this and then take this and it doesn't show that you're on it. And you know, you saw the UFC, uh, Oliveira and Chandler. And you see, I saw photos after. Is that, do you believe Chan- on that? Chandler's belly yeah. is out here. Is, like that you, steroid belly. You think so? Oh. 100%. You think so? Yeah. Because if that's the case, how would they pass the USADA? See, that's why they find ways. They find ways to get around yeah, it. Yeah, they'll, they'll find ways. Because yeah, like what's his name? Um, The cyclist. He used to do EPO. blood shampoo. EPO. EPO? Yeah. Can you explain that? EPO, they get uh, extra red uh, blood cell count in yeah. your system. So... You can go for cardio for a very long fucking time. You don't get tired. Do you, so TJ you... Dillashaw got caught for EPO and test and some, something so else. He got caught though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did so much. EPO and something else. So they're all doing It's a cardio. Something. EPO is a cardio one. Right. So you have more red blood cell count yeah. to be able to transfer the hemoglobin, oxygen. Because, you know, you're breathing in oxygen. It's transporting to your muscles. Then the carbon dioxide comes out. Scientific. It gives you Yeah, but that's what it does. It gives you more. So you're able to transfer it faster. So yeah. you're not getting tired. Right. Yeah. What? Wait, are you a scientist? No. Why does he keep saying science? What? No, that's science. Science. Saying oh, it in science. Okay. That's science. science. I thought, like some, I thought you, yeah. had a, you did a degree in science. Mm, that's science. You, oh, I know. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> well, I did my fitness certificate. Yeah. So yeah, I learned okay. about how that yeah. works. And stuff. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. other from that, my, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Future you, Future champion. Thank you so much. So, I appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. No, it's <laughs> yes. good to have a different person, a different... Perspective. Yeah. <laughs> different energy. Man, the energy it she brings, unreal. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the energy she brings. That Thank is you totally so different. Thank so, you. Thank you, guys. You, I appreciate you, 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 you Triple D up in the bills and <laughs> shout out. Thank you, guys. God bless. Thank yeah. you so much Thank for you. being Thank here. Thank you for being Thank here. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. I'm hoping that we can see you on the next uh, episode yeah UFC. don't forget us when you yeah. rise to the top look let's do another one next time <laughs> yeah. when I've made it and we'll come gonna, back to yeah. that guys say, that time I'm gonna hashtag uh, uh, Nunez in here UFC <laughs> oi that could be a way I get the <laughs> yeah. you know what yeah, that, uh, yeah. someone's you calling might, yeah. you out yeah. right now someone's calling you out right now but she's in the wrong way division <laughs> get, get give me some time alright yeah. I'm being real with myself yeah, so. let me prepare yeah. but once I'm ready I want oh, of course man, I want the, the top yeah. you know when you're working through the levels you yeah. know and then you get to that that level do you wow. know what I'm saying it, it's foot in the door you know yeah foot in the door I'm coming so Michael oh yeah before we leave why not go to New Zealand with Easy Easy Steam that's an opportunity Definitely, but I need the opponents. That's the main goal. Oh, okay. It's always the opponent. It's yeah, not, yeah, I need the yeah. opportunities. It's not, yeah, okay. What's the easiest thing? 
Uh, City Kickboxing. City, City Kickboxing in Auckland. They're really yeah. high level stuff. Yeah. They're mm. also one in uh, Melbourne uh, with uh, who's our Australian champion? That small one, Alex. Uh, Vol- he's in Wollongong. Volonovsky. Yeah, yeah. He's in, he's, here in he's a good guy too. Yeah. So their city, their team and team, they're conjoined. So. Mm. Um. Yeah. Easy. I don't know if Easy's fighting uh, Whitaker. I don't know. I'm. I'm bad with the th- with the news at the moment. He's fighting a, a rematch with uh Vittori. Which okay. Is the Italian first. Yeah. That, that was the first match that he had. Yeah. yeah. Whitaker deserves the a title. rematch. He needs a rematch the in this one. Shot, yeah. But I think Whitaker pull, uh, pulled out in this one. Yeah, because of timing. Oh, but he, timing. I think he deserves that title. Let's see. He needs to recover a bit more. No, yeah, no. Oh, I don't know what no, it was. No, it's okay. He just didn't want to go from, uh, was he, did he fight in March or February? Yeah, he did for, for recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. We, yeah. He, he looked pretty banged up. Oh, was yeah. he? Yeah, his face. He was having the, like, um the after. I, uh, I stopped watching UFC for r- no reason. I don't know why. <laughs> no reason. Yeah. He's Bro. like, I stopped watching for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing uh, I've ever heard. No, I He's like, yeah, it's like, uh, I stopped watching because I stopped watching for no reason. Yeah, I go, Seriously, I, you know, I, I get great. bored. I get bored. <laughs> it's like when I, I just see highlights now. Yeah, yeah. I just see highlights. That's why 1FC made me more watch it because the reason why it's, it's all over Southeast Asia. Yeah. And imagine the first Indian uh, heavyweight champion. Yeah. And this guy was working, Was he did for UFC, but he wanted to be more marketed. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, and he was working with uh, former uh, heavyweight champion, DC. Yeah. And DC complimented him. He said, you're the first DC? Indian. Uh, Cor- Daniel, uh, Cormier. Daniel Cormier. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he said, Yo, it's great to see you. You... As your goals, you achieved it. You are a world champion. Welcome to our team. It's awesome. So he greeted that. Imagine that from a different, because they were in the same team, uh, um, um, AKA, I think. American yep. Top. Yep. Yep. So American Kickboxing. Oh, it's good to, to see that. Imagine a billion people, more than uh, their population. That's He's going to make money now. Yeah, 100%. But because of COVID, people are dying. So it's sad, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, you motherfucker, you fucking, you, what the fuck? From all of you, are you gonna say goodbye or yeah. what? Oh, say, fucking hell. Oh, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. We're out. Thank you so much. We'll see you in a fortnight. Right, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks, Ainge.